Hi everybody, Grid21 here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing another product review video of this thing. This is the CyberPower battery backup unit that I personally use on my computer. Um, basically what a battery backup is, is that if power should suddenly like go out in your house, um, this unit will actually power your computer until you have a chance to safely shut off your computer. It's really helpful for sudden power outs, brownouts, etc. Um, stuff like that. So I recently had to, and actually I should have brought this over, I recently had to replace my old um, battery backup which I think like the relay or something on it started to go and it wasn't like holding its um its stability as far as like keeping my computer I'm like I would come home sometimes and my computer would be like completely off and I had like no idea why and the relay would just switch I don't know it just would trip for some reason so uh, I then had to go and uh, get this unit which has been really cool and it's already kind of saved my computer once already because I was sitting in my office space and um, their, the uh, power like suddenly went out for whatever reason and uh, I was like, well, what was that? And this little unit actually saved my computer from getting hit by the uh, sudden power outage. Um, <clears throat> this is such a really cool unit because a lot of the different built-in features that it has, um, one of them being is that um, 60 hertz cycle power is generally like very, um, very spiky a lot. If you look at it on oscilloscope, um, 60 hertz spike uh, cycle is like very spiky and is generally like not a smooth line and stuff. So a couple of the systems that the um, that this has is that it has ways of like smoothing out the power, so you technically get kind of like what's known as like cleaner power, which is actually kind of cool because one of the things I noticed about about um, my computer since I started using it was that my uh, performance of my computer actually seemed relatively better, which was kind of interesting because I guess since it's cleaning out, you know, the unst the instability of the uh, power going into my computer, I would ha actually probably have better performance having cleaner power than ha versus having dirty power. Uh, one of the really <clears throat> another really cool thing about this is that this actually has, and I'll probably show some close-up shots probably about now. Uh, it has an LCD display, which is really cool. Um, it can cycle through uh, what the, what your load is, what your kilowatts are, um, what your input voltage is, what your output voltage is, etc. As well as displaying information about the battery capacity and uh, you know how the I think there's a couple different battery capacity. I'm actually just looking through the menu here. Uh, load capacity. Um, the estimated time of how long the battery has in your in the unit itself. I think there's about like two cell batteries, or I don't know how many cell batteries are in here, but I think there's at least like two in here, and I imagine they're probably like the old ones where they had like a 12 volt battery supply, which I need to properly dispose of this because I can't use it anymore. Um, <clears throat> so it's just a really cool little unit, and it's got like a ton of features when you get the unit itself. It covers everything from um, how to replace the uh, how to replace the batteries? How to troubleshoot? Um, there's let's see, on the batteries there's actually two sides of the unit. So you have the battery side, and then you have the you have a surge a surge plus battery, and then you just have a plain out surge section, which is really cool. So on the um, I guess would be sort of the the left side of the unit is the battery side, and on the right side of the unit is the surge side as well as actually something that's really cool and never had one of these but it actually has grounding for um for your ethernet cable so that you actually don't get surges through ethernet which i know sounds crazy but it can happen where like if there's a lightning strike or whatever and <clears throat> say like the lightning just happens to i don't know hit something and it surges through your house um there's a chance that like your ethernet line could like get surged or whatever and cause damage to your network card which it would not be fun technically speaking because since I'm technically providing internet for two computers up here um, it's not exactly you know great to say oh my you know my network card died because I had a sudden surge because it wasn't grounded by this thing so it's a really really cool device um, I've been I actually kind of had like more of a peace of mind about the un about my computer when um, when I got it because I'm <clears throat> my computer is a custom built machine which actually I'm going to be doing a video about kind of soon hopefully maybe like in the next couple of weeks or so I'm, there's a series of videos I have planned but that's another thing entirely um, 
My computer is a custom built machine and it wasn't really cheap to build. I mean, custom builds never are. So when I got this unit, I was like, okay, I definitely feel like that my computer is now properly protected. I am not gonna have to worry about anything happening to it. And very few people like really have their computers protected for whatever reason. I don't know why, but they don't. Or if they do, then they're not very good. Um, they're not very good systems. It depends on what, what it is that they're getting. Um, CyberPower makes like a, a really great lineup of, uh, of products and stuff like that. The unit that I had previous that I just showed you, I think was only rated for about 340 odd watts or so. Well, my power supply is about 750. This is rated for over 900 watts. So that means that the load capacity is greater and it can handle a lot greater load than the previous model that I had. But the previous model I had, um, it, might, it was actually sort of a handy down from my dad. Um, he used it for the longest time and it kept his computer safe and everything and um, was really, uh, I think um, he had to get a new unit because uh, I think something, this is just like a really, really old models and stuff. So after a while, this thing just finally gave way for me and just didn't want to work. So it's, <clears throat> and you know, I was thinking about like, okay, you know, I've got this 750 watt power supply and, you know, this little unit here is only rated for so much and I'm kind of overextending it a bit, which is kind of crazy and the fact that under load my computer probably uses about like 285 watts or so, so which isn't a lot, it's not the full capacity of this, but at least it's rated higher that I can plug in other peripheral devices and actually I don't know if you can see this, but I have a power strip of like extra stuff like hard drives and um, my network switch box, my um, EQ system for my radio, my two hard drives, my uh, cordless phone, and a couple other units are plugged into the battery side of the unit, so if the power should suddenly go off for whatever reason, at least these units are protected, so that's the peace of mind, especially hard drives, because if they get surged and the hard drive gets fried, uh, you're done, and that's not fun. So. Um, it's just nice to have, it's really nice to have this, so I'll probably be doing a bunch of close-up shots as I'm speaking about all of this and stuff. Um, so it's just, it's a really easy unit to use, and I'll probably actually, um, I might talk a little bit softer side actually, I'll probably go um, inside and uh, talk about the, the software and stuff, because there is software with it, even though this has like a bit of a basic interface, basically it's just one button and a touch, um, or one bu <laughs> one touch button and an LCD screen. There is software you can download for your computer, so you can actually get like um, more, a little bit more information about um, about the UFS itself, as well as doing things like a test. Um, you can actually initiate a self test as well, so that you can um, make sure that your unit is still working. So why don't we go software side, and I'll show you a little bit what the interface looks like and how to use it. So here we are, software side. We're looking at the um, the UFS's. Uh, control um, panel. By the way, for those of you who don't know what an UPS is, it stands for Uninterrupted Power Supply. That's basically what an UPS stands for, also known as a battery backup. So the interface for the UPS is extremely basic. I really love how simple it is. Um, under here we're on the monitor current status and this is the summary of um, the UPS itself, battery capacity, minutes that has left, current watt load. Um, it, the electrical power supplied by it would either say uh, if the power went out it would either say like you probably say a uh, battery but since we're under current AC unit which is really good um, it's being supplied obviously from the wall unit uh, we have the voltage supply which is 123 volts technically speaking uh, current the uh, house current power is technically 120 um, but because my house has older electric um, there's cases where the voltage from the wall will actually spike and it will say like like 121 or 123 etc so right now I'm getting 123 volts which is kind of nuts um, power condition is normal uh, remaining battery capacity 100% obviously because I haven't um, hasn't tripped over to battery side uh, at all uh, current battery status is fully charged uh, remaining battery power, etc., etc. So it has all that kind of stuff. Then you can have things like, uh, let's see, this is summary. So, sorry, covering summary here. That that was current status. This is summary. Under summary, 
this is really interesting. The ups will actually tell you um, when there was an overvolt, when there was an undervolt, and a power outage. And you can actually see like in what weeks did that happen. So like in, in four weeks did that happen? In 12 weeks did that happen? In 24 weeks did that happen? Or in one week did that happen? Now I have it set to obviously just one week because I really don't care about previous weeks. Um, it obviously I haven't had any of these things happen, which is really good. So <laughs> that's a cool little um, part of the software. Then there's configure, um, and this is actually a new part of the software that I hadn't really had a chance to mess with, but is pretty cool. Uh, it says you can actually decide what time your computer and equipment will turn off and on, which um, I'm not really sure like how that works, and it's something that like I haven't like really. Um, messed with and technically speaking I actually keep my computer on most of the time because it's actually harder on your computer to turn off and on than it is to um than it is to like just leave it on all the time and stuff um I mean you wear your parts down either way it's just personal preference I just happen to keep my computer on all the time then there's notification center which is um basically you can uh enable the ups to play a sound, so it plays like a beeping noise, which of course I can't get it to do now because, you know, power's obviously on. And then there's an alarm that can sound when the uh, power, when there's different power events and stuff. Then there's runtime. Now this is cool. Uh, you can actually change the length of time that the, that the power panel allows your ups to turn on battery power. So you can either preserve battery at 5%, and of course you could do like 1 minute, 2 minutes, 3 minutes, etc. Or you can keep computer running, um, which I don't recommend doing, but you can. Uh, it would shut down the computer when the remaining battery is only, you know, said blank time frame. Or shut down this computer after the up runs battery for, you know, said time frame. So that's a really cool setting under that. And there's voltage, which um, says the normal AC voltage is 120 volts, the current one is 123, the ups will uh, intervene when the AC voltage f uh, falls below 90 or rises above 140, which thankfully I haven't had that happen. Now, this is the part I was telling you about, which is the self-test part. Um, and I don't think you could hear it now, but if I were to initiate a self-test now, which I just did, uh, hang on a sec. Alright, so you may have heard that. Um, so basically, it will. there's a relay in the ups that it will trip, and it will test the uh, battery itself and make sure that the batteries are still um, hold or holding, which of course mine obviously passed, which you can obviously see. So it will initiate self-test, it will trip the relay, it will sound an alarm, and I think there's actually a fan in there because I keep hearing something like there's, like there's something spinning, and I don't know if, if that's to keep the batteries like... Um, I guess you could say, keep the batteries cool while they're running. Um, that's my most educated guess, because that's kind of what it sounds like. So, overall, this is a really great um, piece of software. It's so simple, and actually, let me quick drag this over here. It comes with, um, for those of you who are still on Windows 7, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't use anything else, you can actually download, have it install the... Uh, the gadget that comes with it that will actually sit on your desktop, which is really cool. So you can have display different things like wattage, input, output, percent, load, battery capacity, energy consumption, carbon emission, and cost. Um, the last three, I don't really care. Um, I, I guess just, just for the fun, maybe I'll just see what my energy, energy consumption is. Um, which apparently it's 21.60 kilowatt hours, which I don't know if that's a lot, but I guess sounds like a lot. I don't know, but I kind of ha I have my um, power plan on my computer set to uh, high performance mode, so I have I tell my computer basically draw as much power as you want, as much as you need. So that's kind of how I run my computer. But I have it just set mainly just to show me the voltage um, and whatever, and it's kind of interesting the uh, voltage or not the voltage. Well, yeah, the voltage and the wattage are kind of displayed in three places. They're displayed, first of all, on the ups, which you saw footage of earlier. And then they're displayed in the desktop gadget. And then they're also displayed on the uh, power panel. Um, so there, it's kind of like three different ways of checking it and stuff. Um, I mainly rely on the gadget more so than anything else, just to show me, you know, what my uh, battery load and all that other jazz is. I'm more interested in the watts, how much am I pulling, um, or how much is the computer pulling, really, and it just kind of gives me an idea of, like, okay, this is what I'm running when I say, run a game, or this is what I'm running when I'm, you know, on idle and things like that, and this is under idle, so technically speaking, it's a little bit contradictory. I see this says 100 and, oh, that's the, oh, okay, I see. All right, yeah, no, okay, it says the right thing. I was reading the wrong thing for some reason. So anyway, 
Um, <laughs> so this is like a really great software, and I would um, you can get it from the CyberPower website. Uh, they have a link somewhere. I have I'll, I'll uh, provide a link to that and everything else. All the information, all the more detailed information that I didn't want to talk about, um, I'll actually put a link to the actual product. You can go check it out yourself, and I'll probably put places where you can buy it and things like that. So overall, this is just a really simple little interface. Um, it's simple, but it's almost like kind of powerful at the same time. So that's basically how you run this software, and we'll um, go camera side, and we'll uh, finish up with some with some uh, f final thoughts and conclusions. Now we've come to the conclusion side of the video, and that's basically. Um, me saying what do I think of this I think this is something that you should totally have if you don't have a battery backup please get one because you never know when you know you're gonna have a power outage it can just be unexpected it's especially depending if you live in places that like you know for the Midwest people who live in the, what's known as tornado alley and you may have power go out well, of course there's a tornado you technically won't be worrying about really if your computer was okay or not but you know you, you kind of you understand what I mean. Basically, it's really nice to have a peace of mind the fact that your computer is protected. It should something ever happen, um, which God forbid, hopefully it won't happen. But you know, you know, hopefully you won't be. It's nothing would happen. But anyway, um, I would totally recommend getting this. I think this is definitely something that um, any computer user should have, especially anybody that's got like um, a custom built machine and they're really worried about like you know what could happen to their unit while they're away especially if you're gone um, and like say I don't know say like you're gone for the day and you know your power goes out and you weren't aware of it and you know suddenly now you come home and your computer's off and say something got fried or whatever that is that's kind of scary um, I would be a little bit worried about that one thing though I kind of wish they would have would be like um, a companion you know um, app for your smartphone which I think would be pretty cool like have it um, have some way of um, like notifying you on your phone like you got like a text or you have like a, an accompaniment app that would say like you know there was a power outage your unit is protected battery running and it would be basically like a um, an app version of the software that I just showed you I think that'd be kinda cool I don't know how exactly that would link up but um, maybe I don't know there'll be some advanced thing or something like that. I, I don't know really what's possible, but I just think that would be kind of something nice to have. Um, at least I think so. But definitely a product worth getting. Um, it's sold at a couple different places. You can get it at places like Tiger Direct, New Egg. Um, Best Buy is where I got mine. Um, I don't know if I got a warranty on mine, but you can't, you could get warranty. It has, um, what is it? As every product does, like what product does it nowadays? Um, has like a limited lifetime warranty, which it's the total opposite. Limited lifetime, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, limited lifetime warranty and connected equipment guarantee. Now this is kind of interesting. Um, from what I gather from reading this, um, the warranty covers defects in materials and workmanship in the product under uh, normal use and conditions. Uh, it also covers equipment that was connected to the product and damaged because of failure of the product. So that's really cool, actually, that, you know, CyberPower is willing to, you know, go out of their way and say, hey, you know, our unit failed, we're sorry, we're going to replace this for you, which I think is absolutely awesome. Thumbs up for to uh, CyberPower for wanting to do that for their customers. I think that's really cool that a company is willing to just to just do that because they really they acknowledge that something failed in their product and that's a very professional thing to see in a company so um, I don't think I can really think of anything more to say other than I would just totally recommend getting this um, I I look for quality stuff um, and cyber power is just something that I um, just know of I know there's other battery backup units out there but again cyber power is a name that I'm more familiar with and as I said the one that I had that I got from my dad was one that lasted for quite a few years actually and I suspect that this should probably um, last about the same too um, now you can actually I forgot to mention um, there's instructions about how to do this I'm not gonna do this now obviously because my unit is running just fine but you can actually uh, replace the batteries that are in this. So if like one, I don't know how it identifies like if the batteries are dead, but you can actually 
um, take apart the unit and slide um, both batteries out so you can actually replace them. I don't know how exactly that's done or what that the inside of that looks like, but they're in the um, manual, which I have to say is really well written too. I love well written manuals. Um, it does talk about how to replace the batteries and stuff like that. So definitely give this when you get this manual. I know people don't read manuals, but please do me a favor. Read this manual. Read it thoroughly. There is a lot of information about the unit that covers a lot more than what I talked about. So that's basically my review of the CyberPower AVR 1500 watt or what? What is this model? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I know it sounds so professional. I'll put the, the name of the model in, probably in like a text below here somewhere or whatever. So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like it. Comment if you have any questions or just want to tell me what you think of this product. Um, and as always, please subscribe because I will be having more videos coming. I've been having a string of like inspiration to do videos and live streaming again and stuff like that. So, you know, please just check out, you know, what other what other videos you find interesting and maybe let me know what you want me to do next. I mean, obviously make sure it's a clean video, but I'm always up for ideas or collaborations or whatever. So this has been Grid21, aka Josh, coming at you with a product review, and I'll see you guys next time.